more friends, and it's another big day here at Summerfest. That's right, Miss Kelly. It's going to be a great day. We're going to be learning more about our great God. We'll be checking in with Dr. Doug and Prof. Pat. We'll be hearing an amazing Bible story about the gift of Jesus. Making an awesome bridge craft. Worshiping Jesus together. I can't wait. Well, then let's jump in. Whatever the distance or darkness, you're with me. You're with me. Whenever I'm failing or falling, you've got me. You've got me.
Greetings and salutations! Welcome back, Summerfest! My name's Juris Doctorate Doug Digalot. And my name is Professor Patrick Prometheus. You can call me Prof Pat. What you got there? Hot chocolate? Yeah, that's really good. Do you guys like hot chocolate? Nice. You know it'd be awesome. More. More hot chocolate. That's Let's sweet. see what Sam can do. I'm getting a decent reading. Decent reading. Does it have a high enough temperature? No. What the, does it mean? That means the afterburner's broken. Ah. Oh. Good thing you guys are here to help us fix it, right? We have the experts in the room. All right, here's what's gonna happen. In the back of the room, you're gonna see tons and tons of air vessels. They're balloons. Balloons. But you gotta push all the way to the front, and then we'll put all the air vessels inside of Sam, and hopefully that will be enough to fix the afterburner. That's right, are you guys ready? All right, here we go. Hit the balloons forward, go, go, go! Oh, look, oh, I got yes. one! Nice oh, job. yes, nice job! All, all right. right, they're coming forward right now! Whoa! Oh, I need another! Good job, here we you go! We need more! Here you go! We need more! Here you go. Okay. Thank you! Wow, this is a lot of balloons! Great job, guys! This one's harder to oh, put no. up! Wow, air vessels are so tricky sometimes! Oh, right! All right, number three! This is kind of fun! All right, great job, guys! Here we go! Is this the final wow, that's one? a lot of balloons! Wow! That's enough! Let's check Sam! All right! Afterburner looks clear! All right, you know what that means. All right, let's do a practice. You guys gotta say, go Sam, go, on the count of three. Count us in. One, two, two three. three. Go, go Sam, Sam go. go! Nice job, goggles down. It's the real deal, you ready? Here we go. One, One two, two, three. Go, go Sam, Sam go. go! I think it worked. Let's I see think what it worked. we got. I want some hot chocolate. Oh! No way! Whoa. That's a ton of hot chocolate. Do you want some? Yep. Mmm. He finished Whoa. all of it. Wow. That was great. Good job, guys. Till next time. What's the best gift you've ever received? Was it a bike? Maybe a cool Lego set? Your favorite stuffed animal? As awesome as all of those gifts may be, God has given you a gift. This gift is the greatest gift of all. You may be asking, what is this gift? Well, it's the gift of eternal life and it's available right now for you to receive. In John 3, 16 and 17, it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. This is the greatest and best gift that ever was. From the story of creation to God's promise to Abram, all the way to Jesus calming the storm, we see that the story of the Bible is one big display of God's love and that no obstacle is too big for God. I want to imagine for a moment that you are at a big party and you're given a gift. Would you stare at that gift from across the room? Or maybe move the bow or pick at the wrapping paper, but never open it? Of course not. You would want to accept this gift and open it immediately. The gift of Jesus has already been given, but gifts have to be received. In order to receive the gift of salvation, it's to believe in Jesus and choose to follow him. This doesn't always mean things will be easy, but it does mean that you are never alone and there is a big God that you can trust and that loves you. If you have not received the gift of salvation by putting your hope and trust in Jesus, you can do that today. You can pray to God and tell him that you love him 
you believe in him and that you choose to follow him. This is all possible because God loves you. And Jesus is the biggest gift of all. Welcome back to Super Size Summerfest. We just heard of the story of the greatest gift of all. That's right. Jesus is the best gift. Because of his supersized love for us, Jesus came to provide a way for us to know God. Isn't that the greatest gift we could ever receive? I sure think so. Let's say our supersized Summerfest verse together. Psalm 145.3. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. No one can measure his greatness. I think we can say it one more time. Psalm 145.3. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. No one can measure his greatness. As you make the bridge craft today, let it be a reminder that Jesus was sent to be the bridge and to restore the relationship between man and God. Isn't that amazing? There is absolutely nothing that can separate us from the supersized love that God has for you and for me. From the story of creation to God's promise to Abram, all the way to Jesus calming the storm, the Bible is the supersized story of God's love and that no matter what, He is with us wherever we go. Let's pray. God, we thank you for being the ultimate gift. We thank you for our relationships that we can have with you. We love you and we are grateful for your love. We pray this all in your name, amen. What an awesome day. I had so much fun. It's amazing knowing that Jesus is the biggest and best gift ever. I agree, Jesus changed everything. And I'm so thankful for how much he loves each and every one of us. So true, Pastor Marty. I can't believe today's Summerfest is almost over. It is, but we have one more awesome day tomorrow. But until then, don't forget, God, God is bigger. bigger.